We all aspired, if you're a geek like myself, to the Star Trek computer. To a world where computers would do stuff for you, where you could talk to your computer and it would respond in a natural way and give you the answers to the things that you have. You probably don't realize it, but today you have the Star Trek computer in your pocket. Today we're going to talk about a topic which is actually very close to my heart and that's machine learning, artificial intelligence, deep learning neural networks. For the last 18 months, it's about two years we've been playing around with VR, exploring it, um, doing a lot of research and sort of want to present our findings. I have a passion for what we're about to present but I'm no way uh a tech nerd like the man that is with me. My name is Brian, I've been at Google for five years. I look after a number of our uh, industries and the advertising side of our business. Currently all this tech is available to us. You get AI, you get VR, you get MR, mixed reality, you get AI. I think that it's like super mind-blowing. I feel as though you hear these concepts all the time, virtual reality, augmented reality, but it actually you never bring it home. It makes us think outside the box at the end of the day. There's a big, big, big potential um, with regards to developing AR and VR in the market. What you're actually seeing is a manifestation of Google's deep neural network. So how does Google know that these are pictures of people riding bicycles? It's because Google is looking at the pictures. The exciting thing is we're in South Africa, but everything is here. And I can tell you that everything is here in and around us. As South Africa, we're a very mobile, heavy country. Um, we're, we're really encouraging our brands to think from a mobile first perspective. Tech is happening at such a fast pace that we're really hard to impress as consumers. I think digital is growing so fast at the moment that we are we need more of these type of events, especially when it comes into mainstream. I've been in the industry for probably about 17 years and you still learn stuff every single time you, you get out. Bringing something like this to Joburg and Cape Town, um, you know, it's, it's really positive, you know, it gives you an opportunity to network, um, you get to hear about cutting edge technology that's happening. And what artificial intelligence is doing is to make those products that we interact with on a daily basis more useful. Why are we touching our phones 150 times a day? To get to the internet. And what are we trying to do? Whatever we want. We've got these neural networks which model how the brain works and we feed a whole bunch of content into it, images, that gives the neural network an understanding of what a cat looks like, of what a child looks like, of what a bicycle is. Show me my pictures of Xavier. Xavier is my son. Okay? <laughs> Show me my pictures of Xavier in Cape Town. Here are some magic pictures. Okay? And it's found the following things. Red, drink, day, eating, sense, soft drink. Notice it didn't just find text, it identified this as an actual product logo as Coca-Cola. I think it's a great initiative uh, because they've got world-class presenters, uh, global uh, product presenters and uh, very solid brands. Events like this bring all of us together in the same room, asking the same questions. Tonight was very informative, very insightful, especially with regards to the augmented reality. I think there's not enough events like this in South Africa. I think this is what where it grows the industry. Uh, we've been at both and every single event has been exceptional in us understanding better the market that's out there and the potential that's out there. It's really been one of those events that you can't miss in if you're in the digital industry and in the marketing and media industry. So it was a very valuable uh, session for me tonight and we're going to be involved moving forward. You can build products now that use all of the features of machine learning, which I've just described, which I'm going to go through, to create your own products. And the question is, what are you going to build with this kind of power?